right, it's about uh, oh, just about six o'clock in the morning. Uh, Happy New Year's, everybody! Um, it's 2012. Um, <laughs> it's the proverbial D Day, uh, 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 according to the Mayan calendar. Uh, this is what the big fuss is about. Uh, uh, 2012, uh, supposedly the last year on Earth, uh, is because of predictions that the uh, Mayan astronom astronomical calendar, which is, w which was a real astronomical calendar, uh, we now must say was because the calendar has ended. Right? This is the last year. 2012 is the last year that uh, the, uh, the calendar exists. So uh, they now have a countdown, or a, you should say a watch, to see uh, what's actually going to happen. Uh, with the Mayan calendar, uh, and now others say some say nothing's going to happen. Others say that uh, we're going to have new earthquakes, we're going to have new floods, blah blah blah. You know, the whole uh, doomsday spiel that uh, uh, that things are going to be so catastrophic that um, it will wipe out uh, all all of life on Earth. That this will be the next. Uh, if you want to call it, uh, a period of extinction, uh, which will, event will eventually or inevitably include us. Uh, the question is, though, uh, we haven't seen any of the sort of precursors that one would expect to this. We've seen shifts in the climate, but not actually a real, you know, uh, looking at the satellite data over a period of... Ooh, Ten years now. That's uh, what I've been looking at in terms of uh, uh, sort of uh, looking for and finding uh, the thermodynamic inflows and outflows uh, within the atmosphere. Uh, there doesn't appear to be uh, what everyone's sort of freaking out about is the climate change. That doesn't seem to be happening. What does seem to be happening is a climate shift. So everything is well within. Um, the geological norms for uh, temperature, for climate, and everything, including for how the, thermo the thermal dynamics of the atmosphere behaves. What's happening, though, is it does seem to be shifting. Now, this shift um, has been going on for quite some time now. Um, it's it happened uh, in the seventies. It's happened in the nineties. It happened. Uh, in mid mid two thousands, uh, it's happening again now. So it, periodically, every I would say almost every decade or thereabouts, uh, the climate seems to shift. Now, what you need to see, and this is what hasn't been seen, is you really haven't seen a climate change where the climate is fundamentally different than it was uh, in the period prior. Uh, that means you would say you would have significantly more hurricanes, significantly more tornadoes, or significantly more ice storms. You know, this type of significant change hasn't occurred. Um, uh, for the last, well, since 1990, they've been predicting um, as part of the climate change um, massive increases in hurricanes. We haven't seen that. Uh, matter of fact, uh, every year, um, NOAA put out this prediction. Uh, NOAA is the uh, the body, the uh, the scientific agency run by the U U.S. government that predicts what's going to happen uh, every uh, every hurricane season. They're the ones who have the hurricane warning systems out there. Uh, if you listen to tornado warnings, there's a lot of times it's coming from them, from the NOAA people. Um, and it's N NOAA is N O A A. Uh, it's an ac acronym. For National Oce Oceanographic and Atmospheric Association, um, what we haven't seen is that, or I should what we have seen is that every time they come up with a prediction for hurric the hurricane season, the actual hurricanes, the number of hurricanes and the strength of the hurricanes have come in under the estimate. So, based on their models, uh, and this is how they come up with their predictions and their forecast. Uh, we really haven't seen the climate change 
that uh, was predicted. What we are seeing is a climate shift. We're seeing hurricanes occurring typically outside of their normal zones, but not outside of the model predictions. Uh, the model predicts, uh, in terms of the path that the models predict for particular hurricanes and stuff like that, we look at them, where they are now is, well, unusual, but not outside of the model itself. So, uh, we, the models will say, this is an anomaly, this is uh, 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 where the hurricanes are occurring, not in terms of the amount of hurricanes. Uh, uh, and this is what you need, you need the amount of hurricanes, you need the amount of the total weather to increase in sort of, in sort of to say you have a climate change. What has happened is you have the storm sort of spreading out uh, and occurring in places that you would not normally think that they would occur. Uh, until you go look at some of this uh, satellite data and see and start putting together pieces how all the different pieces of the uh, of the atmosphere fit together and you look at the thermodynamic inflows and outflows then you can start saying ah yeah I can see how a, a hurricane will occur here or a hurricane will occur here uh, uh, when the climate has shifted Right? This is what I call a climate shift. Because I, what I've seen is that the mechanisms that cause the hurricanes, the mechanisms uh, that uh, produce these heavy storms, uh, they've shifted. And that's what I'm watching. You know, unbelievable fascination is, uh, and I'm doing more work this year to, to put together a larger uh, bits and pieces. I want to see uh, a, a sort of a global view of how the climate shifts uh, from month to month, season to season. Uh, that's kind of my uh, my uh, thing to do this year in, in uh, oceanographic and atmospheric research uh, is to really put together a better uh, observation platform to watch um, uh, the thermodynamic inflows and outflows uh, of the uh, uh, of the atmosphere and that 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 this, this is the the the, uh, the system I got put together now. Uh, actually shows me uh, when a storm appears it shows uh, where the thermodynamics is coming from and where it's going and then how it interacts so uh, this is actually what we should be seeing when, when you talk about climate you, l you need to look at the atmosphere and even the ocean as a fluid uh, this brings you into fluid dynamics that's the physics of it uh, but because you're dealing with heat uh, that's the thermal part of the thermodynamics. Uh, it's, it's heat. I mean, where does heat go? And the thing is, you really can't talk about cold because you're always talking about heat. Heat is the measure. You either have a lot of heat or a little bit of heat or n not enough heat, right? But you always have some degree of heat. The only time you get down to no heat is when you get down to zero degrees Kelvin. And that doesn't occur on Earth, in our, in anywhere on Earth, actually, unless, of course, you create it in a laboratory. So naturally, there is no zero degrees Kelvin on Earth. So in all systems, including the Arctic, you have a third thermodynamic system. So if you want to study um, the uh, origins of storms, or you want to uh, study the path of storms in terms of the physics, then you want to look for the thermodynamic markings or the thermo the actual thermodynamics of what's going on in the system. Uh, and this is sort of the observation post that I s or, or the observatory that I've set up that, that allows me to see the thermodynamic interactions uh, with the Earth. And this is what I'm Sarah saying is that um, the thermodynamics from the observatory that I have uh, does not show the um, so-called climate change, what it does show is a climate shift. Uh, this leads you on to say, okay, well, are we going to see uh, major disasters in 2012? Well, no, because, as I said, the climate hasn't changed. It's shifted, but it hasn't changed. So, uh, the prediction on the storm front is, well, we're not going to be getting any more or more powerful storms. We're just going to have a shift in where the storms are going to be. So, this gives you, this allows you to sort of assess where things are in terms of the doomsday device. And I don't think we're going to actually be seeing any doomsday this year. 
you know, God willing, we, you know, I want to be around for a bit longer. Um, and so I think you know, we sort of have to sort of wait and see uh, what actually this year produces. So anyways, um, it's uh, now uh, f five minutes past six. Uh, uh, I've been talking long enough, so I'll, I'll let you guys go. And I'll see you a bit later, later, later on today. I'll, I'll add another uh, uh, commentary or so throughout the day. Okay, bye.